We begin here at 6 with new developments late this afternoon in a story we first told you about last night at 10. Dozens of migrants have now been moved from a West Side police station after some officers face allegations of sexual misconduct with migrants being housed there. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonio is always investigating and was there when the buses arrived. The allegations are focused right here at the 10th district. Late this afternoon, the migrants were moved to another location. At least 60 migrants that were housed in the lobby got on two buses. The larger school bus took families with children. Single men boarded the smaller bus. One migrant told me they were not told where they would be taken. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability says they learned yesterday about sexual misconduct allegations involving a migrant and officers here at the 10th District. Sources also say a teenage migrant is now pregnant from an encounter with an officer. Chicago police have not confirmed this. They issued a statement saying these allegations are under investigation with CPD's Bureau of Internal Affairs and the Civilian Office of Police Accountability. It is at the very least unprofessional for a police officer to have sexual contact with a migrant. Dr. Arthur Lorigio is a professor of psychology and criminology at Loyola University, Chicago. With an underage migrant, that behavior has been elevated to criminal behavior. Minors cannot give consent for sexual encounters with adults. COPA issued a statement that says in part, while COPA investigators are currently determining whether the facts and details of this allegation are substantiated, we want to assure the public that all allegations of this nature are of the highest priority and COPA will move swiftly to address any misconduct by those involved. Police department followed the proper course with proper transparency and proper timing. CPD is also telling us they are aware of other allegations involving sexual misconduct and they are under investigation by Internal Affairs and COPA. A spokesperson for the mayor says they take these allegations very seriously, especially when it comes to the well-being of new arrivals and residents, adding they cannot make any further comment as the investigation continues. At the 10th District in North Lawndale, Suzanne Lemigno, CBS 2 News. And just within the last few minutes, the mayor's office did release a statement calling the allegations deeply troubling.